Hi class. So I first started going to counseling when I was 14 years old. So it's hard for me to remember what I imagined counseling was going to be like before I actually started attending. Um, but I do think it aligns more with Powell's approach in his session with Stephanie. Um, just meaning I imagined and my first counseling experience was much more focused on exploring my emotions and how they were affecting my actions. Um, and the, the counselor used very open-ended questions. She uses paraphrasing. Um, it wasn't as logic forward as Dr. Trakix's session with Mariah was. In regards to skills and potential theoretical orientation that was used in the videos, I believe between Stephanie and Wayne Powell, I noticed Powell using some of the skills that are talked about in the textbook by Simmons et al. Um, under the Smamby and Maddox model, and that included eye contact, he had a very open body language, he was using open-ended questioning, paraphrasing, and summarizing, he was stating feelings and content, um, and one of the things I noticed specifically in regards to him noticing body language is when Stephanie was talking about one of her st stress triggers, he noticed she took a deep breath and he brought that up during their discussion and he was asking her, oh, you took a deep breath during that, um, that reflection of your feelings, like how are you feeling now? And then she was able to divert into um, another exploration of how she was feeling. I also noticed him using alliance building skills and non-directivity, which are two skills that were mentioned by Lund from a study in 2019. Alliance building skills include warmth and empathy, and they allow the counselor to become more influential in the therapeutic relationship. And non-directivity is the ability to inspire and stimulate the client to explore their experience and an attitude characterized by openness, curiosity, and acceptance of whatever comes up, which Powell definitely seemed to incorporate into his session. In regards to the video and the session between Mariah and Dr. Trakix, I think he may have been using the Egan model, um, which focuses on the counselor using three questions. The first is, what's going on? The second is, what do I need or what do I want? And the third question is, how do I meet that need or how do I get what I want? And during this line of questioning, the counselor should be using a variety of skills, including active listening, empathy, checking understanding, probing, summarizing, and negotiating, which is also discussed in our textbook by Simmons et al. I also noticed Dr. Trakix using reframing. He was also challenging Mariah a little bit and confronting her about some of her um, contradictory statements. Um, he was also using goal setting, which he mentioned at the very end of their session. Um, both counselors, however, were using basic attending skills or the, the solar skill that is also mentioned in the textbook. Out of these two counselors, I think Wayne Powell would have suited me more. That is typically the, the type of personality that I go for when I am looking for a counselor. Um, but I think it would really depend on why I was seeking counseling. If my primary issue had a more streamlined solution or I was trying to meet a specific goal that I was struggling with, I would definitely align more with Dr. Trakix's methodology. Um, and in regards to a question, I was wondering how Dr. Trakix could use more empathy or alliance building skills while also being confrontational with a client.